Hey guys, Mike with Getting Greasy Garage. Got my son here, and we got a new product we're going to try out. We got some LED headlight bulbs from Auto One LED. Bunch of different lights that they make. Uh, these guys reached out to me, wanted me to try out their products, so you know we'll give it a try. So it's plug and play. Off-road long lifespan and high brightness. Well, this is his 1990 Chevy OBS three-quarter ton four-wheel drive. You guys have seen this in a, a video or two before. And he's been running around with only one low-beam headlight. So when they asked me what headlights I wanted, I figured this was a good opportunity. So I've been doing this stuff most of my life. I've got lots of experience putting headlights in. What better way to show you than to have a strapping young lad of 19 do it? So go ahead. He's going to crack the box open. And we'll see. It's a nice box. I'm, I want to save the box to put parts in. It just slides open. Tilt it up flat. you got to teach him to open the box first. Oh, looky there. Okay, it comes with some gloves. And the reason for that is... You don't want the oil from your fingers. Put them on. You know, you don't put them on yet. No. You put the gloves on after you get the dirty headlights out. No. And don't touch the bulbs with your fingers. Mm -hmm. If you get oils on this part of the bulb, even on regular headlights, they burn out. So mm -hmm. look at these things. Nice O-rings on them. They're LED. Pretty nice heat sinks. So he's going to go ahead and pull the first headlight out. To make sure it's your low beam. Oh, we'll go ahead and do it on the side. Let's do it this side because you can get to it. It's pretty, uh, pretty simple. Looks like. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. If the yeah, outer... Why don't you go turn the headlights on and find out? All right. Okay. Looks like the inners. Uh, that's low beam. Oh, that's low beam. It's the outers. Okay, so, yeah, a bad one on that side, and these are the old school halogens, which are, well, I remember when halogens were were new, and they were really bright, but the other thing is, is his lenses are pretty faded, so we'll see how well these LEDs will help him at night. Uh, we'll go around here. <clears throat> And it should be just a turn lock. All right. All right. Something stuck. It'll turn so far and then it kind of wiggles out. Oh, okay. It's hard to see in here, but yeah. There it comes out. Oh, looky there. Okay. Well, that's the old style bulb. Mm hmm. All right, and you want to turn it around, and that clip right there, the blue or the gray? The gray, it unplugs from that. Mm. It should just pull apart. Yep, just like that, and then... Pull real hard, and it'll unclip. Don't break the clips off. All right, now pull, grab it on each side, and pull. Yeah. Harder than it looks. Oh, wait, maybe you gotta... No, no, you just pull them clips up and pull hard on the connector and it'll unplug. There we go. Yeah. There you go. 34 years worth of dust and dirt and grime. and yeah, They're pretty old. Mm -hmm. And one doesn't work, so. Anyway, uh, set that down. I'm going to go ahead and pull this other side. And yeah, pull the other side. That's going to maybe... You got your battery bolted down. Yeah. Some vehicles you have to pull the battery out. Eh, I think I'll be able to get it. Uh, you can reach your arm down in there, it looks like. Yeah. We got a broken clip down here.
Oh, taking the battery hold down off. I jumped in. Again, 30 year old rusty bolts. Yeah, typical battery bolts, but. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Pretty uh, gnarly. Okay, now move your battery out the way. Don't let the positive touch metal. And you can reach right in behind it there. We got some jet traffic happening. Well, it wasn't cloudy. You probably see them. But oh well, we're doing we're doing headlight things. It's down in there. Having any luck there? And oh, there we go. We got it out. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, that one's all fogged up. Yep, that means it's burned out. We'll go ahead and pull it off there, and we'll take a look at it. Uh, obviously the comparison this one was yeah, still good you can see that one's bad mm -hmm. so plugs are still good yep those are going to trash oh, yeah, so I, I always change rust in it headlights as a pair because as soon as you change one within a couple of days the other one's going to go bad so go ahead and wipe your hands off with the uh, with the uh, antifreeze that spilled all over the place yesterday. Yeah. Uh, put your white gloves on so that when you handle the new bulbs, you don't get oils and greases and things like that on them. And the way these are held in is they have notches. You got one big one, or two big notches, one little one. And so you fit those in and then they turn lock. So. This is kind of an old vehicle, but I was actually surprised that Auto One LED even offered bulbs for something this old. So they sent us the low beam bulbs, and maybe we'll have to get some high beams from them. That way, you got LEDs on everything. Uh -huh. All right. All right. I'll go ahead and grab one of your new bulbs. There's an instruction booklet that comes with these. I've done enough headlight bulbs that I don't need to read the instructions first. Mm -hmm. The gloves are so that you don't get fingerprints on the element part of the bulb. So I'll go ahead and plug it in. <clears throat> Plugged in all the way. Yep. All right, then put it back in. You have to turn it exactly how you took it out. Oh, I see. Okay. It's kind of hard to film this. Well, well. Is it in? I believe so. All right. So t turn locked in. It it went in nice. A lot of times you get these bulbs and those tabs are too wide and you end up having to file them down. And that one went right in. So, right. yeah, it's in. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, get your other one in over here. And we'll, it's daylight right now, obviously. It's in the evening. But we'll uh, get a later shot.
The other thing I want to point out with, again, Auto One LED, these guys, is that they shipped this thing out real fast. When, sh when they told me they were sending them, they were here within 24 hours. Go ahead and it's in. No, oh. batteries and man, it's not great terminals. Get the old flashlight. So let's see, we're about. Eleven minutes, which isn't bad considering you pulled the battery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's on. Huh? Nope. You want me to get it? No, I got it. It's a plug. Well, they don't give you a lot of slack on these wires. I can't get it. Uh, oh, how about I'll get it and we'll come back. Huh. All right. With a little dead finesse, I got it in there. It's down in there. It's kind of dark. You can see it's right there. Anyway, it's in. Kind of hidden. Uh, at least th these bulbs actually fit really nice like they're supposed to. It's just we're not used to doing headlight bulbs. You might have to fiddle around a little bit to get them in, but that's not the light bulb's fault. So, anyway, let's turn them on. You can put your battery hold down on later. Oh, yeah. Look at those things. I mean, it's daylight out. Oh, wow. And you can see how bright they are. That's incredible. Yeah. With old faded lenses. Again, you can see how faded the lens are. Lenses are. That's, man, that's way brighter. So... And obviously, these are... And there's one of the old ones. Uh, wow. That's the high beam. Yeah. Wow. So, go ahead and flip that again. That's the high beam. That's the low beam. That's the difference in the daylight. So, we'll uh, bring you guys back here in a little bit when it's dark. And uh, show you how much better these things are. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so here we have the high beams on the 90 Chevy that are just the standard halogens. This is actually the high beams. Now he's going to click it on the low beams where we put the uh, Auto One LED bulbs in. And look at the difference. This is from sitting in the passenger seat. And yes, the windshield's kind of dirty, but you can see the huge difference in this lighting. And again, that was with the faded 34 year old lenses. So. You know, these things are pretty impressive, and uh, they were easy for him to put in. So, yeah, AutoOneLED.com. You can uh, pick up a set for yourself and uh, tell them Greasy Paws Grow sent you. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Stay greasy, my friends.